On behalf of the Village Board and Administration, we are doing our best to communicate to residents critical information about the current state of affairs in our village, region, and in the state of Illinois. I continue to encourage all of our residents to check our village website for the latest information. I am also asking residents to share information with your family, neighbors, and friends in University Park and to check on one another through phone contact or the recommended guidelines for social distancing. As you may know, Governor J.B. Pritzker has ordered a shelter in place for all Illinois residents through April 7th. This order may be extended and as information becomes available, we will pass it along to all of you. This order closes all non-essential business except for grocery stores, gas station, banks, and farmers. Police, fire, and emergency management personnel will continue to perform their regular operations. I am in communication with state and local leaders who are providing information and guidance to municipal governments on a daily basis. I, along with Village Manager Ernestine Beck Fogum, Chief of Police Deborah Wilson, and Fire Chief Brian Chelios have participated and will continue to participate in Governor J.B. Pritzker's weekly briefings. Here are some points from these briefings. Cases in Illinois are rising, so it is clear no community is immune to this deadly virus. With increased testing, we are likely to see more confirmed cases in our region. If you have minor symptoms, please call your doctor. Do not go to the hospital. They are only testing serious cases due to the shortage of tests available to medical personnel. Stay at home and only leave for necessary items at your local pharmacy or grocery store. Practice social distancing. If you must leave your home, stay six feet apart from other individuals you may come in contact with. No handshaking or hugging. Do not hoard food or supplies. Buy only what you need and remember there is plenty for all of us. There is a temporary motor motorium on utility shutoffs in the state by our utility companies, including here in University Park. If you are a small business owner, the Small Business Administration is offering loans to help. Visit the Small Business Administration for more information at disasterloan.sba.gov. There is also help through the State of Illinois Assistance, which can be found under the Resources tab at coronavirus at illinois.gov. Unemployment benefits have been expanded and waiting periods have been eliminated. If you are out of work or have a decrease in pay as a result of closure, file to see if you qualify for benefits. Our village has passed a declaration of emergency, which will be in effect for now until April 7th as well. This will enable our village to apply for reimbursement of emergency funds through our state and federal governments. As mayor, I have also had tons of phone conferences with other agencies in our region, daily updates with the Illinois Department of Public Health, weekly briefings with the governor's office and Illinois Municipal League and the Village of University Park staff. For our children and, and seniors and those who may need more assistance, here is more information you can use. If you need food assistance for children under the age of 18, the Crete Moni School District 201U can help. Please contact the Free Breakfast and Lunch Food Service Director, Pamela Panza, at P A N S A P at C M 201U.org for information. All village employees have been asked to work at home to safeguard operations and continue providing services including public safety employees who have been placed on staggered shifts. Garbage pickup will continue 
but our hauling company, Homewood Disposal, has asked residents not to put bulky or large items out so drivers can remain in their trucks and maintain their safety as they continue their work. Finally, I want to assure everyone the health, safety, and welfare of all of our residents of the, uh, is of the utmost importance. Stay home, stay safe, and let's all do what we can to stop the spread of this terrible virus. Thank you, Mayor Joseph E. Rudez III.